Welcome back, my dear life folks, to another My Hero Academia discussion. In this one, I will be talking about Midoriya versus Shigaraki. And if you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Light Bulb Army. This will contain manga spoilers, so if you are not caught up to the manga, which right now is 332 chapters, then leave the video now. You have been warned. If you don't care about spoilers, then stay in the video. All right. So in the recent chapters of My Hero Academia, we actually got to see Shigaraki versus the number one hero of the U.S., Star and Strike. A person with a very powerful quirk. Her quirk allows her to give two rules to two things. One, she always keeps a rule on herself to boost her strength, her physical prowess. And then another rule to anything she wants. For example, she touches the air and she could make the air in front of you, like 100 meters in front of you or whatever the distance is. As long as she t literally just does this because you're always touching the air and make it that there's no oxygen there, which is really broken, right? And she could also do another rule where she could touch you and say, okay, you'll get a, your heart will stop, right? So very powerful quirk. However, there are limitations to the quirk where yes, she could boost her physical strength, but not to the level of all might. Obviously there has to be a limit or Koshi knows there has to be a limit to Star's quirk. She even created a giant mirage of herself with like the air and stuff and look, looking like a giant stand, a hundred meters tall. And it was so powerful that one punch from this thing just knocks you back flying, knocks Shigaraki back, right? Man, Star, very powerful character, the number one hero for a reason, gave Shigaraki up to this point in the story, the biggest battle of his entire life. He got hit with laser beams, right? Incinerated and still survived that because Shigaraki, we do know, has hyper regeneration, which I was never a fan of just regeneration in general in Shonen, just because it's like, they did, like, sometimes I would watch like a Dragon Ball Z episode or something like that, it'd be Cell, and then he just regenerates a life-destroying attack. I'm like, wait, what? So the common thing to do is to disintegrate your opponent completely if they have a regeneration factor, right? And this is what Shigaraki even stated in one of, in the latest chapter. Like, you got to disintegrate me. Like, I'm going to just keep coming back, right? Even when you see his skeleton and stuff and he's burning as he's going up to um, Star. So he's very, very difficult to beat. Very difficult to beat. You got to literally do a Gohan Kamehameha uh, <laughs> uh, clash or something just to destroy this man, right? And... Another thing about Star is when she hit Shigaraku with the lasers and she's like, oh, if this was enough to stop him, then Endeavor's flames could have done it. So that gives kudos to Endeavor because he has blue flames and his blue flames are really powerful. Now they look up what are the hottest flames and I believe hot uh, white flames and there was another, I believe it's purple flames are the hottest flames. And if Endeavor or even Todoroki awakens white flames that would be really cool so the reason i'm mentioning this battle between shigaraki and star is because one this is shigaraki's biggest battle ever and if he didn't have regeneration he would have died right and two because it goes to show you how strong and resilient shigaraki is that he didn't die with all of this and then he even got like a bombardment of bombs thrown at him and with his quick thinking he literally decayed the, <laughs> the earth below him, the ocean floor. So what the he was out of the bomb's radius, blast radius. I was like, wow, this dude is really smart. And something that Nabidnor, one of the Light Bulb Army members said, he said that Shigaraki and Midoriya have a similar fighting style like when it comes to analyzing battle, which is true. Shigaraki is not just out there oh, pure raw strength or anything like that. He analyzed situations. He's like, okay, what should I do here? And Midoriya does the same thing. This is why a lot of the community members see Midoriya and Shigaraki, myself included, as two sides of the same coin. I remember I made a tweet like that and it did really well on Twitter. This was like maybe two, three years ago. And yeah, they're literally two sides of the same coin because Shigaraki could have become a hero if it was not for his uh, upbringing. Up 
raising, right? And Midoriya is basically Shigaraki if, well, no, Midoriya could have been Shigaraki if he, you know, took a darker path, right? If his path was not good, if he couldn't become a hero, if he couldn't become a vigilante or whatever, he could have fallen into this path. So it, it is very interesting and Shigaraki could be Midoriya, you, you know, vice versa, right? So the community is worried about how in the world is Midoriya going to defeat this Shigaraki? And the biggest thing that people seem to be taking out of the equation is Midoriya does not have to beat Shigaraki one on one. Even I, when I read the chapter, I was like, Shigaraki's broken. One of my favorite characters, but he's like broken. But Midoriya still does, doesn't, well, he doesn't have full mastery of all the new quirks. He he, he could use them effect, uh, efficiently and stuff. Or maybe he does have full mastery because we did see him do a lot of stuff. But I, I think he could get stronger. He, he still could get stronger. But in chapter 327 of My Hero Academia, we actually get to see them talk about this. It says, because it's not only about bringing it all back the way it was, we got to work to make the world a better place than before. And we'll do it together, going beyond and all. It's not just a Midoriya show, right? His classmates were like, oh, you brushed us aside before, but you don't have to do everything by yourself. Like, we're here for you. We're here to help. We could all go post ultra. We could defeat evil, you know, because... At this point of, of the series, there is no symbol of peace. No matter how much I like Endeavor and his redemption story and his character progression, which a lot of people still hate his character to this day, you know, because I guess they're perfect people. Uh, Endeavor definitely represented the imperfect, uh, basically that nobody's perfect, right? That wrongs are wrongs and, you know, that you should be punished for them, but if you want to change, you can change. Change is possible, right? And in this, these words in chapter 327, basically, Midoriya has the help of his friends. Midoriya is not going to do what he did before and go rogue, uh, well, not rogue, go lone wolf and like he fought Lady Nagant and stuff by himself. And uh, that was a very dangerous battle for Midoriya, but he still came out victorious he will have all his friends helping him out. Now, I don't think there will be time for any training or anything like that, but they're very powerful at this point in the series where they definitely can work together. Midoriya could definitely come up with a strategy, you know, to combat Shigaraki. Now, Shigaraki is a top, this is, I'm not even going to say an S tier villain. It's like, let's just say a legendary villain right now in the series where you, he doesn't even have to touch you. He could touch the ground. And if you your feet are on the ground and the decay hits, that's it. You, you're a goner unless you're going to cut off your legs or something, right? So it's going to be a very dangerous battle. I believe me, the Rhea could come up with a strategy with all his friends to take down Shigaraki. But Shigaraki will not be fighting by himself. Obviously, there will be others. Um, I think there will be a one-on-one -on -one scuffle. But I believe that his friends will also help out later on. And not only that, we got to remember that Mineta is one of the smartest characters in UA, which a lot of people hate Mineta for certain reasons. Um, and he could also come up with a strategy. Mineta is very, very uh, smart and bright. So in UA, we have Midoriya, Todoroki, and Bakugo. They're, they're the top three of UA for his class. And then we got to remember there's the top three senior class. Now, I don't know what the top three... I believe they're they're sophomores now, if I'm not mistaken, in UA Midoriya's class. I wonder who the freshman class is, if there is even one with all this uh, chaos and swim, right? So I do think Shigaraki can be defeated. If he cannot be killed, then he could be restrained, right? I believe he could be restrained. They got to be a quirk or something that, like, you can't break out of. Like, you know, maybe something like Bartolomeo's Body Body No Me uh, from One Piece where he creates a barrier that's nobody could break no matter how strong you are no matter if you, you're white beard you just punch it where, where you're broken uh quake quake fruit right like if it doesn't break like something like that I, I believe shigaraki has to be killed or sealed and i feel like or restrained not sealed you know re heavily restrained i believe he will be heavily restrained because at the end of the day midoriya wants to save shigaraki he cannot save shigaraki by killing him obviously he will save them by <laughs> stopping him, by restraining him, or 
making him so exhausted that he can't do anything anymore. But that, that's the thing. Hyper regeneration is the thing. So I believe restraining Shigaraki will be the best path that Midoriya has and that he will not do it alone. His friends will actually help him in this giant endeavor, right? Because this is no easy feat. So hope you enjoyed this discussion video. Thank you so much for watching and remember to have a great day. Peace.